uh, my students are already graduate students and PhD candidates, they sort of have an idea of working the film. So I, I really deal with them more in terms of the art of film scoring, um, dealing with film music as it's its own character, its own person, encouraging them to, uh, to write music that can, that's substantial music that can be done in concerts. Don't think of just as underscore. I like the word under anything eliminated. Uh, think of music as music. Think of com com film composition as composition. Think of it as having, having, having the same importance as composition period. And yet approaching the needs of the film in a prepared manner as to how to understand uh, what it is we're trying to be on the screen. And, and also the consequence of what we have on the screen because a composer can really change a whole attitude. It can make you like a person or dislike a person. And they can, can add tension where there's none. Uh, if a scene is played badly, it can make you hate a scene. It can make you misunderstand the scene. It, it's really a, it has a great deal of import as to what film music can do when it's done well or badly. So that's kind of the, the, uh, the level of the teaching that I like. Um, I don't think any of that was taught years ago when I, when I first got into it. Um, there's also the, um, the whole day of synthesizers, of, uh, of computer recording, you know, programs, people who write, who don't even physically write music anymore. I mean, I still write all my scores and with my hand, and to me it's inconceivable not to. And yet, um, they're clearly composed. I'm not passing judgment. I'm just saying that it's, but it's changed. You know, I, I like to write a score, so I line up my flutes and my woodwinds and my horns and timpani and, and then I see I, I see the music in front of me, you know, and I uh, it, it means something to me to look at a score page. You know, I hear it, I see it. I, um, there are composers who have just learned to, to compose on the synthesizers so that the flute can be in any range, not necessarily the range of the flute, because you can extend it with synthesizers. And very oftentimes they have um, uh, they just turn over whole programs to a, an orchestrator, composer, person who then annotates it and, and gives it to an orchestra. I think the use of synthesizers and, and, and computer recording, I think, has changed a lot. Pro Tools, people can um, slice together pieces of music, and, and, and uh, I think to some extent uh, the, the craft has changed. Um, I think that um, these days with uh, many producers and directors relying on, on synthesizer budgets, for, I think it's changed. I think people have gotten, to some extent, less used to hearing live orchestras. Although, I must say, the bigger films all seem to have larger orchestras, you know. There seems to be like a gap between um, more economical projects like television films and the bigger films, which have enormous amounts of money to spend. Um, I think that um, they've gotten used. I, I've heard a lot of stories, whereas I was hired to write a lot of themes for television, hired to write songs. I hear stories that uh, that when they need a new theme for a show, they'll have numbers of different people writing themes, hoping each one hoping to get theirs done. I think it's taken away some of the some of the professional quality of hiring someone to do the job. Um, I'm not saying it's true for everyone, but I'm just saying these are things that I've heard. I certainly know that musicians uh, uh, are not working as much because of reality television. They don't, there's less of a need for underscoring, uh, less of a need for, for a composer to do that. Um, and yet I hear, uh, uh, I hear very good scores, you know, and uh, so I, I think things will, will balance out anyway, hopefully. And, uh, and uh, it'll, it'll continue as a very good uh, career for, for a lot of people.